everyone so today i'm gonna be filming a grocery haul but i have to go gluten free for health reasons i'm like trying it for a month so it's a gluten free whole foods grocery haul i have my two big bags here of stuff i've never tried being gluten free so i mean i don't know if any of this is going to be good and if you're new to my channel my name is flora i live in boston and let's get into the groceries the first thing I got are these. I've had these before and I love them. They're just chickpea puffs, the sriracha flavor. They're so good. I'm like addicted. And then I got gluten free oatmeal. Didn't know that existed, but I like oatmeal, so I'm glad. And then I got gluten free crackers to have with hummus and Canyon bakehouse gluten-free bread i've heard this one's good a lot of people say gluten-free bread is terrible but i've heard this one's like the best you can get i got bio nature brand recommended by my friend gluten-free penne pasta those are like the dry goods i got that are gluten-free i think and then i got for dinner or lunch this week gluten-free ravioli that's kale garlic and cheese and then the pasta is made with corn and rice gonna throw some like pesto or something on that hopefully it's good another snack thing i got are these corn nut things i like always eat these and they're just corn so no gluten there to worry about i got frozen chocolate chip waffles um i don't need to keep saying gluten free because everything in this is gluten free but obviously they are too and then I got frozen quinoa just because it's quick for like after work for a side with dinner and I'm lazy. Don't want to cook quinoa. And then for lunches, I've had this before, sweet potato noodles. They like are pre-spiralized and I did them last time with pesto and like I made a pesto cream sauce, added chicken and broccoli and they were so good and I brought that all week for lunch. And then I have a bag of baby spinach. I use this in like protein smoothies wraps like sandwiches i added to like random things i couldn't find any good gluten-free wraps so i did buy the bread though so maybe that'll be good with it I'm not sure and then i got cauliflower pre-cut because i'm lazy i'm just gonna have this roasted for dinner one night um i just got a bag of brussels sprouts i love these roasted too they're so good and i'll probably have these with my chicken that i bought And then I got a corn on the cob and a cucumber. I just love cucumber like for lunches that I bring to work. And I'll have the corn with dinner one night. And then I got uh, just the Whole Foods chicken breasts in here. There's just three of the chicken breast fillets. I just buy the individual ones from the deli counter because I think they're fresher and you can like request smaller ones not the like giant ones that are in the packs usually and then i only buy three so that they don't go bad before i can eat them and there's like a whole foods very close to me so i can just go buy more when i run out and then i got two juice shots from the brand vive organic this one's antioxidant detox and it has red algae pomegranate seed oil grapeseed oil and 65 berries all squeezed in here and it's 99 percent juice and then this one is wellness rescue and it has oregano elderberry ginger and cayenne and it's also 99 percent juice they just looked good and they were on sale um i ran a 5k yesterday and my body it hates me now i'm in pain so i'm gonna take these today and tomorrow and then sirens the last thing is just the noon hydration or non-hydration electrolyte tablet things you just drop them into water these ones are the tri berry flavor um these ones are the tri berry flavor and i just drink them like if i have a hard workout afterwards i'll just pop one of these in water so that is everything i got in these two bags right here and those are like my groceries for the week for lunches and dinners 
I also might buy a steak later in the week to have for dinner, but I didn't want to buy that now and then have it go bad. So that is everything. I hope you guys enjoyed. I might do an update video at the end of the month about how my gluten-free like month went um, and like how these foods were specifically. I could like review some of them, say what was really good and what was really bad. But Thank you so much for watching. If you are new here, subscribe to stick around, follow me on Instagram, and I will see you guys in my next video.